Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I am planning to show you that how these pistons moves. And, uh, and now this motor is in upside down, but when we look this piston, this is connection road and there is this piston in that area. And when motor is running, this, this piston is moving like in this way up and down, up and down. And every time when spark plug gives spark, this piston is in this up area and then when this spark plug gives spark and fire, then there happens small explosion and this piston goes up and down. And when, when we have like 1000 turns per minute, this piston is moving 1000 times in this per minute and the speed is really fast and then you could think that that what is this turn rate when we have this 1000 1000 um, piston turns means that that this this uh, per minute means that that in seconds how many times this piston is going up and down I have to calculate a little bit easier. I think that if we are driving full throttle and we have 6,000 turns per minute, it means that this this piston goes per second in 100 time. 100 per 60 is 6,000. And this means, could you believe that I do this 100 times per second in this piston? It is really fast, and when we have this uh, this idle speed, like a little bit lower than 1,000, it goes like then then about 20 20 times per minute second, and it's really fast. It's it's so fast that I couldn't move this piston. And then it's good to notice that when you check these pistons, that it that how. How how good is your motor quality? And I I can I can say that these these pistons are really thick because in this motor there is mileage some, something like 100,000 miles or even a little bit lower. And and when I move this piston in this rotation, there is no any clap. And then when I move in that position, there is no, only this rod is moving a little bit. And then I, by the way, noticed that that here is also those bearings that we have to we have to do markings also in here. And 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 this piston is moving like you could could you see. And then then there are those those crankshaft bearing areas and then I rotate this uh, pistons in other side that we can check those those pistons in in here Then, then I pull, pull up these pistons. Okay, and I can actually move these pistons so that that I I press this piston down and it goes down. And then when I rotate this area. I can pull I can pull up this connection road and then I can insert that in back in this way. And next we look at the piston in here. Okay. Okay, and there are those pistons. And when I pull up this piston, it goes in down. And then when I little bit make this upper and then I 
press this connection rod, then this piston goes up. Okay, and now it happens that that here we can see those those uh, piston rings in there. The small small part that is moving in there, and that means that if this kind of situation happened, we can't press this anymore down because we, otherwise we need to compress that in this way and then then so that we don't destroy this this piston ring and and now I think that that I can only take this piston up but I am lucky because there is the second piston is in there I can and I can lift up the second connection road in this way and then then we can test this piston and and when we look this piston there is idea that when the spark plugs works in here it it gives this spark and then this piston goes down and so long and then this piston is coming back because there is this connection uh, crankshaft what make this moves Sm make those pistons move smoothly okay and and this was like this how pistons works in for and we continue and thank you for watching